Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Janice. So welcome to my YouTube video. If you're new here, my name is Janice and I do a lot of lifestyle vlogs. Uh, today I'm actually going out with a few of my friends tonight to go to a birthday party and I decided to bring you folks along with me to show you how I got ready for today. Um, I kind of have this berry spring style look going on. I have a little bit of pink on my eyes and things like that. And not pink eye. Don't don't get that confused with pink eye. <laughs> and um, I have my hair done all curled and everything. So you can see how I did that as well. And let's get on with the video. So we're going to start off with my makeup. So just to get my hair out of my face, I'm just putting it up in a quick messy bun. Uh, so there's that. And then in a second, I will be putting on a headband just to get all the little baby hairs on my face. So first we're starting off with my e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Uh, normally I would use a face moisturizer, but I could not find it for this video, so I'm just starting off with this one. Next, I'm just using my really crappy concealer that I got from Primark, of course, because it's cheap there and I'm not trying to spend a crap ton of money on makeup. <laughs> um, and so I'm just going to put that on all the little imperfections I may have on my face and then take my beauty blender and dot it all out. Dab, 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 dab. That's all nice and good. So after that, I'm going to take my Bare Minerals uh, foundation, which I got from Marshalls on sale. Thank you, Marshalls. And I'm just going to dab that all over my face as well, just like this, just like that. And blend it all together super fast so then you guys don't have to see the pain of how long it actually takes to blend all this stuff out. <laughs> We're going to continue on in 3, 2, 1. Cool, my face is all blended out and it looks kind of uh, powdery and crappy right now but after I put on the setting powder or setting spray and stuff like that it'll moisturize it back up again because my face is really dry at this moment. So I just took that same crappy concealer that I got from Primark, put it under my eyes because I have under eye bags because I'm old and whatever, wrinkly. And I just put whatever extra primer and um, foundation that I had and just put on my eyes as an eye primer. So next I am going to be doing my eyebrows, which I did way too dark by the way. Apologies in advance, so I'm just going to straighten those out even though they already are not shaped whatsoever because I'm really bad at doing my eyebrows, so just filling those in as quick as possible, because again, just to make it a little bit darker, but I made them too dark, so that didn't really work out too well. Um, so don't follow this eyebrow tutorial, so yeah, <laughs> this is me realizing it's too dark and trying to get it off. So next I'm just using my e.l.f. bronzer palette, again, not spending too much money on this makeup, uh, so I'm just using one of the darker colors that matches my skin tone the most. Um, so I put this on way too dark, wow I apologize. But all these brushes I actually got from e.l.f. They were three dollars or so each from um, from Christmas Tree Shop. And next I'm just using my illuminating palette also from e.l.f. I'm just gonna make myself shine like the diamonds <laughs> just like so with my little fan brush also from e.l.f. So next I'm just going to take my Sephora foundation powder and blend everything out just like so so I don't have that giant line on my, the side of my face because like I said that was way too dark. Not to mention this will also make it so it kind of blends with my skin tone a little bit more and just make sure I put it all down my neck because I'm not trying to have a mask on. And so this palette right here I actually got again from Primark but this time um, it was actually from a Primark in Germany and so I was just trying to be a little scandalous and get some pink eyeshadows because usually I just use matte regular eyeshadows so I'm just using this light pink color first starting off so I'm just windshield wipering that all over my eye just like so both eyes all set just gives it a really light pink so far to start it off and then next I'm just going down the palette this next darker a little bit darker pinker color and so we're just windshield wipering that on just the little windshield wipers this time though just putting in the crease of my eye just to darken it up a little bit and have a nice transition shade. So there's that one. And then we have, again, going down the palette, this medium color. I'm using a smaller brush this time, doing a little windshield wipers, just again in the crease. Just trying to darken it up a little bit and making the color nice and vibrant. I'm not trying to go too, too dark for this one. I'm just trying to do like a neutral 
pinkish shade, just enough for springtime and whatnot. So this color is more of like a little bit of purple just to darken it up a little bit just because I am going out later and it's easier to see. And next, the darkest purple, or one of the darkest purples, I guess. So I'm just putting that in the very corner of my eye. Just next, just gonna curl my eyelashes a little bit, just like so, and ta-da, they're done. <laughs> and so next, I'm using my Sephora Liquid Eyeliner, which I absolutely love. I will use this till I die, I swear I love it. And so I'm just gonna make a quick wing on that one. So just a nice thin uh, eyeliner today. Not doing anything too thick. I'm gonna thicken up the end of it a little bit, but that's okay. So there's that. Makes my eyes look a little bit lighter than they actually are, as they are pretty dark brown, but. And surprise, all of a sudden I have lashes on. <laughs> um, so I do usually use like the smaller, wispy eyelashes, I think they're called. Um, so I think I use two small and one extra small on here. So I just put the two smalls next to each other and the extra small, of course. Um, so that was the finished eye look, and then I'm just spraying this setting spray on my face. Wow, that was gross. <laughs> That's a great face. Um, and drying that a little bit, and so it makes my face look a little bit dewier, a little bit more natural, and does not look like I have a pound of foundation on, as I do. And obviously those are the eye look, and it's came out better than I expected, actually, so <laughs> that's good. Then I'm just going to use this uh, Kylie lipstick and put that all over my face because your girl's got really small lips and she's trying to make them look bigger than they actually are <laughs> without getting lip injections. So there's that. And it smells so, so good. It smells like cupcakes. I love it. And final makeup look. And this lipstick makes my teeth look whiter than they actually are, <laughs> which is a good thing. So next, I didn't take as many videos with my hair because it's I'm just curling it. There's no like math or science behind it. So just sectioning off hair, the top two thirds of my hair, and putting it in a messy bun on the top of my head. And I don't actually use the little clippy thing when I curl my hair. I've realized that it burns the very bottoms and it kills the bottoms or the ends of my hair. So I've just started using it as like a wand. Um, so again, sectioning off the top third of my hair and curling all of that and voila, ta-da. I have that curled in like 30 seconds video time and actually like 30 minutes regular time because my hair is so ridiculously thick and getting longer. Uh, so then there's this set of hair, this top third and ta-da, wow, that was quick. I am so good at this. <laughs> Literally magic. So then somehow after about 30 seconds, it comes out like this. So that's kind of cool. So in total, this is the end product of my hair. I absolutely love my hair as curled. It takes literally like two hours to curl because it's long and thick, but comes out gorgeous afterwards. I absolutely love playing with it and messing around with it. As you can probably tell as I keep flicking my hair back and forth. And I absolutely love filming this part. So this is the completed look. I just am wearing that $5 dress that I got from Charlotte Russe, a Primark uh, leather jacket, and then boots that I got a while ago for probably like $16 or so. And thanks for watching my video. Talk to you soon. Bye.